Security Committee meeting. Today is Thursday, October the 6th at approximately 8.40 in the morning. Um, we begin with our Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, 
We're working on a uh, welcome monument signs that uh, that's going to be part of this new fiscal year. We're still trying to see where we're going to allocate that money. Uh, that's going to come from promotional funds, or that's going to be from general funds, or from the arts uh, right. arts uh, funds as well. So, so there's those are bigger project, uh, projects that we kind of didn't have that uh, uh, we're working on. But at least the the way finding signs, that's I know that one's more. It's going to happen sooner than than, than the other one. And uh, so I know those are big projects that we're working on. And, uh, and then obviously getting ready for doing a big push for the sports complex that you know, we're excited for that. So, so we're uh, focusing on that as well. And uh, mm -hmm. working with a management company that uh, just recently got hired. So uh, I, I don't know if they already finalized a contract, but I know we're going to work on that. I, I, I would uh, I notice that now they're um, trying to improve to at least uh, the traffic flow, you know, to that area yeah. because, I mean, it's going to add on a lot of traffic. Well, they, Texas, okay. yeah, Texas is already looking at doing a overpass at Lomas and Sioux, and I don't know which one is going to know what. So they are, they're saying that there might be a, a, either a hospital going on <laughs> over there in that area. Um, I mean, is it medical, something so medical? So right stuff. now, if, if here, we're here, uh -huh. we take the loop, mm -hmm. we go up the loop, yeah. and mm -hmm. then... You do a. Uh, you would have to do a turn around on Sierra Vista. Yeah. Uh, that's that's, that's, that's where all the accidents are going to be. Uh, yeah. That's why they want to do that overpass, so you won't. You just get out of each turn. Yeah. So. From the yeah. Yeah. Well, then we need to also advertise the location because nobody yeah. knows. Yeah. 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 Say, yeah. Where it, is it? And then do that. Yeah. Yeah. And and one of the biggest ones that I'm out, we're always coming to. That's a bunch of golf course. Mm -hmm. If you don't know where it is, you know you look around. You don't even know how to get in because you're going to 59 and then yeah. there are where Paul Young was, right? Yeah. Everybody knew that the, the But there's no sign there. Proper signage. Yeah. Proper signage. Yeah. If you're coming down to 20, That's if right. you miss that trail, yeah. yeah. there's a golf course. You go to Magana, I mean. Have any signage on your floor? Yeah. <laughs> So they could work a little bit more. Yeah. 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 All you have to, all you have to, all you have to do is drive <laughs> Hill and Road, yeah. and there's 18 holes there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's full of holes. Yeah. The trucks. Yeah. Yeah, but but nobody fixes them. I mean, our our public works department. They need to put um, zero. Huh? Yeah, they need to put zero. Yeah. That's yeah, all the exactly. time. Yeah, the amount of semi trucks, I don't think they can keep up. Yeah. 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 I've seen the streets being repaired. Yeah. Yeah. It's, just it's just like so many trucks. It was like that before. But she's right, maybe that's not matter, but and concrete takes all their drive. How do you stop traffic for two, three days? Yeah. That's the problem. And you don't have to go far. Just go down Del Mar. Don't have a cup of coffee in your head. Look, it's spill all over you. It's full of holes. It's a holy street. It's a holy street. It's a holy street, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, go, you go right by St. Patrick. Well, the public work, they just don't have enough people to hire. Yeah. I wish, I wish, Betty, the Park and Recreation Department people, public works, when they go to city council, they go in coat and tie. Mm -hmm. I wish they'd go in overalls. We've been working, you crazy guys. Okay. But they're the directors. Kobe Ty. I mean, give me a that's break. A, that's a proper attire for city council. That's What's right. that? That's a proper attire for city council. Maybe. No, but, uh, uh, yeah. it, but if you go in, you know, hey, I'm working. That would be, that would make a statement. Um, Paul, I have a yes. question. When we have a surplus uh -huh. in the year, can we have so the surplus that normally goes to the hot tax, so it, it stays to our, uh, we have a balance with the hot tax, so it just stays there, and uh, if there's projects or if we ever, if we get directed either by mayor, council, or management for certain projects, then if we didn't have it in our budget, then they basically allocate that money. They'll do it, yeah, yeah, but it has to come from council. Council has to approve that to be, to draw that money from it. If not, it just stays in a balance, 
and it's just earns interest and all that stuff. I don't know, yeah, but we don't really use it. So basically, whatever our budget is, that's what we have. If there's, yeah, yeah. Any additional? Any additional? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's basically a piggy bank, but. But we have to go to council in front of council. Council has to approve it. So let's say they want to do something special for the sports complex or at the convention center, whatever. They could get, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that one has to be blessed by the man city managers uh, and then obviously by council. Yeah, yeah, it has to go to city council. Yeah. I'd like to make note that Mr. Gabriel Castillo just stepped into our meeting. He just stepped out for a second, but he. Uh, boy, do, do we still have two or three positions open with convention centers? We have two positions that. Oh, what, uh, what are they? What? So, one's going to be a sales position, and the second position it's going to be a marketing. Uh, assistant slash coordinator it's like <laughs> they're gonna be helping yeah, so um yeah the, the other position is gonna do like different hats so it's gonna do some events some marketing uh and uh, so we we're gonna have those positions we already uh it's basically just being finalized by our hr department HR director, so we should have a blessing pretty soon, okay. and then we're going to be posting the position, okay. hopefully within a month or two. Hopefully by the end of the year, at least at the end of the year, we can have those positions already uh, up yeah. and running. Yeah, they'll be up and running. Yeah. But we'll have a uh, help a lot. Yeah, a sales a sales staff completely 100% dedicated to sales, and then the other one will be uh, doing a little bit of everything: marketing, uh, event coordination, and uh, so. So uh, it's going to work like to the different ways, but yeah. Do you all work with, um, like you did at the festival, with volunteers in other capacities other than the three cities, uh, the sister cities festival? Uh, at the moment. No. It's just their special events, whether it's sister cities yeah. or, you know, maybe if we need them for holiday markets, but that's yeah. about it. Yeah. We sometimes get uh, entrance mm -hmm. through the city. And uh, work directly with the school district. Uh, the school districts like UISD has has brought a lot of like the Magnus School from the United South. So they'll bring in some some students and they'll be here temporarily. But it's seasonal and it's it's very small window. But sometimes we get students that help us out on certain projects and so they get to see what we do. And, uh, I just think if if uh, we educate the young people on yeah. what we do for Laredo yeah. here to promote it and how wonderful Laredo is because they don't know you mm -hmm. live here, but you overlook yeah. some of the good things we have. Yeah. I read um, Texas Monthly this weekend, mm -hmm. had McKellen all over it, mm -hmm. and uh, and Roma, and I don't know what other city, in the, oh, in the real life they say. Mm -hmm. And it was like they were picking out things that were ordinary if you lived there, mm -hmm. but special if you were a tourist. Mm -hmm. It's just like everything. I mean, you go by, uh, you see a sign, and when it's new, it's like, oh, you pay attention to it. Mm -hmm. But once you've lived there, you know, you, you don't yeah, see the obvious. I mean, yeah. it happens to yeah. every, everybody. Yeah. You know, because like the San Bernardo Street that is full of these wonderful, wonderful shops, mm -hmm. you know, and I don't, I don't know that, that we promote them enough. I don't, I don't know. know. I, I just think I we have a lot of things. Yeah, some things that I, we have a lot of things to offer. The, the promotion for San Bernardo Avenue definitely is year-round, and that's actually a big push that we do with and our- And that's north. north. With our yeah. meetings market, yeah. yeah. That's something that I as yeah. a spousal activity or, you know, an after meetings <laughs> activity. And uh, we actually just, I did an interview with Group Tour Magazine, um, you know, promoting uh, group tours to coming to Laredo and just, you know, uh, a mock-up of an agenda, where you start out with your breakfast mariachis, you go, you know, and do a history tour downtown with the Margarita and her staff, start, you know, from there, go on to do import shopping along San Bernardo, and end up, you know, either at the water museum or a meal, but, you know, that's what we promote outside of Laredo and to, you know, the meeting planners. Wonderful shopping. Yeah. 
And, but that, and that's, that's a big, that's something that they really appreciate because, you know, it's the, the authentic, you know, souvenirs and knickknacks that they can pick up without having to go to Mexico. Mm -hmm. Another thing that we've done there is, like Raymond has helped us a lot um, for certain conferences. We'll set up like shops. They'll have a pop-up shop. Pop-up shop, there. And, yeah. uh, and they do really good. So we, we get different, uh, either uh, the farmer's market vendors sometimes as well, depending on what the organizer wants. But Raymond has always participated in all of them. And it's really good because people, if they don't have a chance to go to the stores, uh, okay. they come back later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 And they'll buy stuff and then, you know. Yeah, but uh, a pop-up market, yeah. like a, a market, you know what it would be perfect where that new city parking is? Because it has some shade. And and then it has, uh, you know what I'm talking about? The yeah. one the one behind the Hamilton? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes, yeah. just move all the cars out and it would be great for a pop-up, you know, market of some, but not no goods. You don't have to shop in Mexico. You can shop in Laredo for authentic Mexican goods. There's something about the farmer's market or the pop-up shops being outdoors that is kind of special and it's different and people can come, you know, with the dogs and with the, yes, yes. And it's not that doesn't work good at the, out, the outlets, especially with the hot weather and everything. I have, I have gone like a couple of times, but there's something nice about being outdoors mm -hmm. and just because you don't have a lot of activities as far as that. Yeah. So it's the time of the year where it starts getting yeah. cooler. Yeah. 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 I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I want to say for a while, I, I think it was Main Street, you know, when they would have it yeah. um, at Jarvis Plaza, yeah. that I think they would have to um, not do one of the summer months because it was too hot. It was too hot. Yeah. 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 But um, right now, you know, they are currently here at the outlets, and we see that there's lots of activity. Yeah. There's lots and of activity. And it generates because I'm on the Real Main Street yeah. Board. Uh, we have had an increase of 3,000 people wow. to our mm -hmm. farmer's market. Just by moving the By moving. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it's a win win for everybody, not just the vendors, but Main Street and the outlets. And the outlets. Get yes. that, that exposure yes. of perhaps somebody that. <laughs> wouldn't have come down here, but they wanted to come to the market. Right. Yeah. And they can find parking. I mean, it's not like right. some yeah. other area where they love. There's a lot of way downtown, but it's there's no parking. There's no parking. And, and then they, they want to park right in front of the store. That's the there other thing. There you thing. go, right. They want to walk around until the space yeah. comes up. Yeah. <laughs> and that's true. But, and then the other thing is that you have to go back and beat the meter, and if you don't do it in time, you get a ticket, mm -hmm. and then it costs yeah. you about 10 bucks. <laughs> well, we have noticed, especially this year, uh, it's been a long time, a lot of groups of women or groups of friends coming down to the right for the weekend. Yeah. Because we haven't had that for a long time. For a long time. time. Yeah. And then we've seen it more and more occasionally. And they just spent Friday night or Saturday night. Yeah. yeah. Where did they come from? Uh, San Antonio, Austin. San Antonio, Austin, Austin, Austin and yeah. Houston, uh, too. So that's what we're kind of pushing for weekend getaways and mm -hmm. women's getaways. Yeah. And so we can come down on Friday and go back Sunday morning or Saturday. Yeah. 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 We used to do a lot of shopping, so. Yeah, yeah. a lot of doing the seven hour shopping and like they like downtown too. Too, yeah. Because mm -hmm. of the barn. A lot of a lot of friends, women friends, I mean they get together and then they take a weekend and they go to San Antonio. Yeah. I know. So this is bus 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 and I, I used to meet the buses at the corner and uh, get on the bus and thank everybody, Mayor, and thank everybody for coming to Laredo. And sometimes I would give them like little things, you know, just to, and they would love it. I mean, that the mayor stop, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. Really? I mean, yes. yes. That's neat. Yeah, we start free pan woods and every coffee. Just, I mean, we'd be like three tour buses one day. Yeah, um, Yevan, Yevan, uh, this lady told me she had ordered uh, furniture from Vega, $3,000 worth of furniture. Wow. That's one. One piece. That's how expensive. One very well, one very beautiful sofa. Very unique. Well, you mentioned last uh, V mm -hmm. that we weren't advertising 
in the corporate setting? Are we starting to do that? On the corporate, we, we do it for seasonal, and I think we're uh, looking into that right today. Yes. Yeah, we are sister city festival. There yeah. are a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah. I mean, I have a daughter and some other relatives mm -hmm. living in the corpus area. Mm -hmm. Nada. Where it says Laredo. Yeah. Those out, those out of town advertisements are more event specific, very seasonal. Yeah. And we run about two to three looks at a time, not year round. But you know, where it's about, I guess, promoting the burning festival, the Washington's birthday festivities, the Sister Cities Festival. Um, you know, if it's a summer month, you know, we might go ahead and promote our golf course, or the fall might come in hunting season. So, but it's just, it's, it's spurts. And that is good because if you do it year round, yeah. it gets lost, you know. Yeah, because you can say the same thing about corpus. Where do you see corpus advertised here? Yeah, you know, you know because it is very expensive. Advertising is very expensive. It has to be strategized, it has to be. Planned like you do, yeah. Yeah. yeah, to make sure that you're hitting a certain target event, yeah. a certain so target audience. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like sometimes I see the Brownsville, yeah. Brownsville yeah. right here. Yeah. Like, yeah. I wonder what that's all about. Yeah. 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 yeah, they probably have a solo there right there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Texas Association of Convention and Visitors Bureau. Uh, we got second place on the leisure tourism marketing and on the community local engagement. So, uh, thank you so much. We were really excited. Our uh, marketing team did a wonderful job with Selena and Reina mm -hmm. and Beatriz and the whole staff that takes part of this. And Reina and, and Eileen were the ones that attended the conference. Uh, Selena had other, uh, she wasn't able to attend. But we're really excited to get those recognitions from the state, especially with our association. So that shows a lot uh, for Laredo. And, uh, you know, for years we hadn't been, you know, we've participated, but we never had been recognized. And now we're getting those recognitions. So that's really good for us. And, good job. Uh, I really, yeah. So I wanted to congratulate our marketing team. And uh, so I wanted to highlight that one. And then the other one is coming next month. And that's in page 12, which is the holiday market, uh, talking about events and talking about things at the outlets and, and with farmer's market. Uh, if you go to page 12 and 13 has the actual save the date. Uh, it will be November 18 and 19 from 11 to 8 p.m. on Friday and Saturday and then on Sunday it's from 11 to 7 p.m. So we have a little bit over 70 booths already confirmed. We might have close to 80. And uh, so more, th more than last year, than the first year that we had. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are really excited for this year's uh, mar uh, holiday market. Uh, we're gonna have pop-up shop that the outlet shops is doing and then farmer's market. So on Saturday, it's gonna be like three events in one. That's so, uh, so really excited for that. Uh, I think uh, the outlets are really excited, you know, because it's, uh, it's what we mentioned. They are so cooperative yeah. with the radio. Yeah, and they it, it just brings more traffic to to our, our to the outlets <coughs> and to downtown oh, area. So we're really Thank excited you. for this event. Um, and the and the exposure. The exposure. For, yes. If people are not aware of it. Oh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So those are the two things that I wanted to highlight. I don't know if you have any questions mm -hmm. regarding the uh, the other activities. Uh, in the month of November, we do. Uh, there's a Dia de Muertos event normally with God bless you with uh, Laredo um, Center for the Arts. They do. They partner with a Mexican consulate, and uh, they do an event, and we co-sponsor. We do. We participate with that one. 
As of right now, I don't think. I don't think they reached out to us. Uh, yeah, they haven't reached out to us. But they ever did? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they do something every year. Every year, yeah. I'll be honest with you, our big problem right now is that the vessel rental board is we're having issues with our contract. They don't, they're not renewing our contract that we wanted. They're asking for a lot this time around and getting less. So I don't know what's going to happen with the center Does overall. Hmm? Does mm -hmm. Yeah. It also so, affects the uh, county air control. Yeah. Who, who runs center for the arts? What contract? What contract? Yeah. Is it a contract for somebody? I, I, I just heard of contract. The city owned it. The city, city owns the yeah. building. Yeah. It's a city owned building. So we had, a, at one point, we had a 25 year lease. And so that was up last September. No. I mean, this year was been a year. We're, we're, we're on a month to month basis. Here. So I, that's been a. Was, Looming, there's a cloud looming over this whole drama. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that they're going to have something, and I think it's going to be together with coming out thing. So, just so you know, it'll probably be something with the cultural artists and all that area. And I believe Cultivat is also buying a building downtown to make it an art center. At one point, that's what we're talking about. But I have a meeting with the councilwoman, I'll we'll talk about that further. Because, uh, like I said, downtown is dying. And who are you having an issue with? Oh, several people. Including my kind of character party. Um. <laughs> yeah. It's it's sticky. It's sticky. But it's you know <coughs> Board member help? Uh-huh. Board member help. Board member help? Board member help. Yeah, that was fine. Yeah. The thing is that now when we renew the contract, we want the whole building and basically asking what kind of heritage to move somewhere else as the idea was to make that space a full-time <coughs> and generate revenue because the city now comes back and tells us, well, you can have a building, you have to pay $3,000 a month, but we will not pay repairs under $20,000. So anything that happens under $20,000 $20, less, we will not pay for it. Well, what kind of a landlord is that? You know, of course, it's a 130-year-old building. Yeah. Guess what? Things are going to happen under $20,000. Well, everybody knows about these issues with plumbing and everything else and the downtown area. Yeah. 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 But I also heard that they, now that they're renovating the Pasa Theater, they want to use that. Yeah. So, you know, area to have conferences and yeah. can do all of that. Do, do different events there. Yeah, different events. Yeah. Might enhance <coughs> what they're doing at that concert theater. What, what are you talking about? Saints or I, I, I can't hear very well, obviously. You're not That's why I talk loud. Oh, I'm not talking about, okay. You're talking about the Center, the center for the Arts. Center, center for the Arts. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I offer a suggestion to you, you guys? Put those microphones on this thing and you press the microphone and you can hear uh, or your hands over there or where, whatever. Why don't you wear but some things? <coughs> I've done that. It would be, be nice to, I mean, we, we have meetings at uh, Bank of Commerce and other, uh, other places yeah. sitting around the table. <laughs> the guy over in the corner, I know. Mean, press the I know. I mean, you have a city problem in city council. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, you can't yeah. distinguish between, you know. Well, I shouldn't have veered off soft topic here because we're talking about this, but that's just another deal. But I mean, I think it's probably going to happen. And, and then uh, Cultural Arts District, it's gonna, they, they're playing something. They probably just haven't announced it. Mm -hmm. But I mm -hmm. think they would have a day of the dead. I'll reach out to the rest of it. They always have a value. And to Telisa, Telisa also, she's doing quite a bit. I mean, she's doing a lot with the cultural arts district, the Casal yeah. Peace. Uh -huh. Yeah. They're really doing a lot of good things. And Student Society is doing a lot of things, too. Yeah. So. Yeah. And so is the Work on Heritage. They're doing their. their uh, the Moves on the Patio. Yeah, the Moves on the Patio. I think those are also a lot of fun. We're going to have our first one this Friday. <laughs> 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 Who would reach out to you about the event? They're going to have a little bit. For the day of the Rosie? Santos? 
the printed word, you know, we don't do it. And these, all these entities, including the city, how many, how many uh, PR people does the city have? Jingles. Well, yeah. the, a lot of them. There's a PIO and then. PIO and PIO, and, and the school district is a PIO, the, the this has a PIO, the this PIO. No, but I have muchos PIOs. We need five PIO. Start praying some more. I'm dying to hear what Sabrina has to say. Okay, so let's change, try to change the subject a bit. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and condense everything for y'all. Um, but you're going to notice pages 14 to 25 are a little bit thick. Mm -hmm. And that's only because we had our ad agency here and they gave us our year-end review. Right away, they start off with the objectives that we have for this next coming year, which is obviously to keep on promoting Laredo, to increase room nights, to go ahead and increase our public relation efforts because we did do a lot of public relation efforts you know, this year. And uh, we want to go ahead and just, you know, keep on with our niche audiences, whether it's sports, tourism, meetings, <coughs> leisure, um, golf, outdoors, <coughs> import shops, um, everything right now I can say that they have been doing a really great job of driving awareness to our destination and keeping Laredo top of mind. And you're going to see, you know, that they do have six key strategies that, you know, we will go ahead and follow for this coming year. And they did a breakdown. And if you go ahead and, you know, um, I do think y'all received this as a digital file as well as right now printed, you will see, you know, the collapse that we've done in, you know, print marketing, digital, outdoor outlets as well. And um, to, we just want to let you all know that we are continuing these efforts, that um, we have had really great numbers coming in in regards to our website. I want to say there's been a 300% increase in visits to uh, visit Laredo.com. And of course, you know, we've had really <coughs> great collections for our hotel motel tax this year. Mm -hmm. But um, if you all have any questions in regards to any of the efforts, um, you know, our agency is always available. You know, there's that when I set up the one-on-one, -on -one, you know, we'll go ahead and uh, talk to your committee. And of course, my door is always open. And, you know, I love, you know, meeting with you all, you know, once a month in person. But, you know, if y'all want to chit chat and have some coffee talk, then you know, definitely open to that as well. For this new year, are we following the same direction? Is there any changes? What we like did is we we did a little decrease in the print side and we went more digital. Because like uh, Mayor, you know, just mentioned right now yeah. that uh, digital presence is, you know, the, the I guess better exposure that yeah. you'll get. Yeah. And of course, we don't. We will not, you know, 100% leave print because, you know, we so just important. exactly, yeah. you know, print will always be a part of the media by plans. But we do see that with digital, we also have better flexibility. Yeah. You know, if there's any placements or anything goes out, and if there's an error somewhere, and you know, and then it gets left out, we can go ahead and change that out, you know, yeah. in that moment. Yeah. So that that helps us out a lot, and we are adding more shows such as one of the ones that they mentioned is Yolo, Texas, where, you know, the teams will come in for production and do little bits of, you know, what's going on in Laredo, where can we eat, where can we stay, where can we play, where can we have fun. And then those are syndicated throughout the state. And, um, you know, influencer marketing is going to continue. <coughs> so that's also been a really good plus, you know, for, um, you know, we see the, the success rate that we've had on the Mexico market, and we're hoping that, you know, that does cross over to the U.S. market. I didn't realize uh, until this past weekend that we were we were title sponsors of a golf tournament at the club. And oh, I saw that. Well, yeah, and you know we've done it for like five years, but and during COVID it kind of stopped, and we tried it again. Long story short, there were 350 players signed up. Mm -hmm. But I didn't realize because we did our own QR code, we had a raffle, and we we asked them to sign up for the raffle, and the raffle that we had there was like. They were raffling Rolexes, they raffled wow. a, truck, a Tundra truck. I mean, it was, it's become kind of like a big, you know, I didn't know how big it was. So I should until become I, a golfer. Huh? I should become a golfer. Yeah, just yeah. Become a golfer. <laughs> <laughs> Go with it, they raffled off th three, it was four days, and each day they raffled a different Rolex watch. Wow. wow. And then you could take it for a ladies or a man, whatever you want. And then the truck was the very last thing out of a pool that the truck was having. But here was the deal. Um, 
we did a QR code to do a raffle just to get in our own data. Well, first of all, we saw that half of the group was not our customer, hello. And so <laughs> we did that very carefully. And then the irony was that 20% of them were from out of town. Yeah. Really? So these people apparently did stay at hotels or uh, I don't know whether they stayed with the family or what, or they were, you know, what, they, what their deal was, but there was Mexico, there was McAllen, there was uh, San Antonio for sure, Austin, and Dallas. This was at the country club, right? Monday? Like this was at the country club? Yes. Okay. yes. And, and, and my point is that it may behoove us to kind of probably talk to them next time around. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we could do with them to be kind of like work our way in there and kind of you know keep that promotion going because when you talk golf, that's a whole other That's a very niche yeah. market. Yeah. 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 You know, literally gameplay because oh, yeah. these right. people travel literally will travel to oh, good yes. season places yeah. to play golf. So if they know that the Max Mandel is available. And you know I keep hearing about how great the Max Mandel is, but, but it's so, so far. Yeah. The traffic the, the people love it once they get there. Yeah. 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 Almost yeah. Like you have a shovel, like a helicopter shovel or something. The yes. course is designed, right. you know, by Robert Trent Jones, who's a huge name in the golf world. Oh yeah, yeah. And all you have to say is the that problem is that, or not the problem, but people are dumbfounded that it's so inexpensive. Yes, right? yes. You know, yes. they're like forty yes. dollars, thirty-five dollars. They're like, really? Yes. Like they can't believe that. And when, and I'm hearing also that the see, I don't know, I'm not a golfer, so I don't know the standards of how the place should be, but I understand that people have also complimented. Um, the 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 Casablanca golf oh. course that they're doing that they're the guy there's doing a lot of effort that he's doing real good that he's yeah really they are. Mm -hmm. they are so they are that's that's really another really thing and then the other thing I was going to bring up is the Cueva Blanca mm -hmm. that's in full gear right now yeah and <laughs> once again we when we had the, the event I I thought of you all because a lot of group we did the same QR code and guess what also. 50% were out of towners. Yeah. You know, that were coming in for to get their awards. Yeah. And you know what they love was that the kids, they're little kids. Yeah. And you know how the ball are your first yeah. kid your first killed his first buck? Yeah. His oh. first bambi. <laughs> and they're, and they're, they're, they they travel to that. Yeah. They get the yeah. recognition there. And you know what, Kevin? For a while we would have a list of ranches on our website. But what I guess is a good problem for the ranch owners is that they have their leases already yeah. secured <laughs> in two years, three years in advance. So some would reach back out to us, you're like, you know what, please, you know, please remove us from the listing because yeah. we can't accommodate to any more requests. Yeah. Right. So, you know, and we do keep in contact with the chamber and now we'll have a close relationship, you yeah. know, with them as well.
We didn't do banners because it's just so much work. Yeah. 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 We did them for, we did them for four days of all yeah. of So what we did now is that we we have our own screens now, our own TV screen on a stand. Yeah. And let me tell you what we found out. This is an interesting marketing kind of uh, exercise that we did. We had our MD Amherst campaign, and it was on the screen behind the tellers. You know what? Yeah. 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 The screen behind them. Yeah. Yeah. So we know you were. Even when you log into the website, it's yes. there. Right. right there. So, <laughs> but we, what we found out was that people were not getting money. That we had a box right there in front. You know, it says the picture and everything. So we changed it. We got us. We got a screen, and we put it on a stand. And you know how people are standing in line? Yeah. Well, uh -huh. we put it right by the line, and right under the screen, we had a table with a box. Every week, we were collecting two hundred to three hundred dollars. Wow! Wow! So but do you see how the difference when it's in your face? Yeah, yes. Yes. it's in your face. It's yes. over there. You can't really see it. You can't yeah. be here. You're not yeah. because you're in line over here. You're talking to somebody on the phone. Right. But somehow, when you're when it's right here in front of you, you're, and you're that that yeah, ambassador, right. that girl's telling you right there that she had cancer, that yeah, she, she, she survived, blah blah blah. And then you see the box right next to her. It's almost like the person's like sitting right there talking right. to you. So, yeah. and I'm not kidding you. And there was a, I remember we did, we moved it. Then we said maybe it's just this brand. We moved it to Commerce, and there we had hundred dollar bills. Wow. In the box. At Commerce. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. But see, but you see that the, you have to test things out. Yeah. Outside. Yeah. And let me tell you, this is not Gabriel's brain. This is a kid who started with us about six months ago. And he said, well, you know, well, have you ever thought of putting it on? I mean, he said that. And I said, well, no. So we, we I literally went to Walmart, bought the screen, and said, well, that's a good idea. And connect, put, the, put the little table. And it's like, wow. Yeah, you know, that's why they listen to these kids. The next generation. Yeah. 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 But you know, yeah. 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 All of these ideas come from young people. Oh, they're, they're, they're the ones who come up with that. And you yeah. think they're her brain. It's like, well, let me try it. And then, yeah, wow, it works. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, I listen to them. Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> they're, they're, they're yeah. 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 And, they, and they know, they know uh, how to attract the people of today or the atmosphere of today. Yeah. Because um, we're yes. still hung up mm -hmm. on That's attracting right. the old way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. So, thank I look back at commerce, you know, at, but you know, and the lines are long. And, you know, you have a lot of time. And, and, yeah. But usually, you know, the screens were back there behind the counters. And what you were focusing on is why is this line taking so long? Why is that woman taking so long mm -hmm. with the teller? And then she would take out. <laughs> people were not paying attention. But if you had it here, like yeah. today, people are going to pay attention. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. going to take the attention from there to here. there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. in your face. That's right. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Absolutely. You were talking about golfers. Golfers are a different breed. They'll go anywhere to play. I got a call. We got a call last week from uh, Laredo Country Club, Mike Mainhall. He says, we're celebrating our 40th yes, anniversary. Oh. Mm -hmm. Our okay. 40th anniversary. I said, wow. And he said, but it's next year. But we're starting early to promote it. Yeah. Wow. Because we, we hate phone calls, you know, as journalists. Hey, we're having the same tomorrow. I know. Give me a, give me a heads up. Hotels. I have 40, 40 years. And he was asking, again, do you have any clippings of the first time that they opened the golf course? And I said, go to the Laredo Times at the library and, you know, just get a date or a year and go through it. I mean, it's there in black and white. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People don't I mean, there's no, that's what you know, it's in black and white. 
Yes, I know, but people don't want to do the work. They want you to find it for them. And give no, it no, I know that. I know that. Uh, uh, you know, after we started writing that little column every Sunday, now they say, hey, can you put this in the paper? I said, call, call them. Call them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, put it on their lap, but see, at least mm -hmm. they're talking about it. Yeah. They're getting ready for it. Yeah, yeah that's right. They're, 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 they're talking about it. These golfers. Yeah. I mean, they'll go to Divine, Texas for, for, to play golf. You know, divine is a little hole in the wall. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. okay. Well, Sabina, thank you so much for your marketing report. Um, yes. We're here to back you up and uh, you. and support uh, you all. So thank you very much for your hard work. I know it takes a lot of time and effort. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. And then moving on to the upcoming activity. Uh, which I believe is on page 29. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The three months of yeah, three. activity yeah. report. Here, just a uh, brief uh, description. Mm -hmm. Some of the events that we're going to be attending, and uh, so you'll see, uh, we're going to be a little bit busy this month in October and next month as well, uh, with some nature shows that we'll be attending, some court uh, events that we'll be uh, attending as well, and some meetings that uh, Selena will be attending as well. Meeting conferences. Nice places you're going to be attending, like Vegas, Orlando. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <Nice>. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about yes. uh, the flowers. Are we getting any flowers yet here at the airport? Uh, not at the airport, but at the port. At we the port, are? yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, flowers is actually huge. And uh, so the this conference, the one in Orlando, it, it merges to the uh, PMA. Now it's a global okay. floral show, so they merge with another association. Uh, but actually, uh, we do get a lot of flowers. That's right, because so we used to not. Yeah, and we used to, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, would, they, they would go to Orla all of them to Florida. Florida yeah. So we started yeah. uh, promoting we're, that. Yeah, yeah. Right. so uh, for that, that, that expo, it's a, uh, it's, uh, Economic development, the bridge, sure. the airport, CBB, and then we're going to have one of our city managers, um, right. Mr. Landin, that will be going. So it's going to be a good group, and we're going to try to reach out to the Mexico, to the floral sections, and uh, it's a yes, big so <coughs> yeah. um, Do you have a date for the Black Friday sessions or not yet? The Black Friday, it's, it's uh, the 12th. The 12th. 12th. It's on Black Friday. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, are you going to promote both? I think um, it's 9, 10, 11. It's yeah. the holiday yeah. market and Black Friday, or just going to focus on Black Friday? They just focus Black on Black Friday. Yeah, because that one is the outreach we do it in Mexico. Yeah. So, it's trying to bring them here. So, the the event itself, uh, let me see, I, 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 it might be the 12th, like uh, Monica said. So, Antonina, let me. It's, yeah, I want to say it's the 10th. The, it's on I, I yeah. heard that the actual conference is on the 11th, and I noticed that yeah. because I was a holiday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm like, I'm afraid I'm going to fly safe. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, so, you know, the, the staff will probably either fly in the 9th and then prep everything on the 10th, and all the, the 11th should be the whole event. Yeah. yeah. That's great. And this year we're doing a, uh, a tree lighting. We're working with our, our sister city. Well, our state city because it's the state represent uh, it's from the governor's office from the state of Nuevo Leon. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're partnering with them since we have the we house them here in Laredo uh, in our office here. So we doing a, a Christmas tree lighting with the whole uh, festivities and so many uh, interviews. Uh, I've done it before and it's it's tiring but it's awesome because you you go literally hit all media and uh, it's a lot of exposure so we're really excited for, for this upcoming year and, and working with the governor's office from Nolio. Uh, they were able to get us one of their main parks in Monterrey, very well attended, and uh, they provided a tree, so we're doing a few things for there, so we're really excited for that. So something different, you know, every year we wanna, we wanna do something different, not the same, just a press conference, but making it different, unique, and you know, people like the outdoors, and this year we wanted to do something outdoor. So, uh, nice. yeah, so we're really excited. For this year, yeah. So, how was that birding festival in um, Harvard? Is it 
Yes. So the uh, actually RGV is probably the capital of Burning. Like the burning capital. Yes. Burning capital in South Texas. Texas. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And we're we're about right, right there. Key, it's it's huge. Huge. Birds. I mean, yeah. guns. There's. Yeah, birding. Well, and now for everybody. <laughs> so we partner with uh, Risk, which is uh, the Rio Grande study, uh, since they're the ones that. Uh, and Monte Mucho, they're the ones that run our burning festival. So we'll both go over there and we'll play booth uh, for the, the duration of the of the uh, burning festival and, and RGV in Harlingen. So we we work with them and, and it's a really good event where we promote our, our burning festival. Mm -hmm. uh, but before that, uh, we're gonna go to that one. And we're gonna go to Connection Fair, which is all the welcome home, all the the people, the winter Texans that come in from all over Canada, all over the U.S., mm -hmm. uh, we're uh, we'll going to that one, and we're going to be meeting with the tournament. Uh, the the man, the RV directors, management directors. So we'll be giving out information of WBCA, uh, import stores, uh, the golf, the birding festival, all the events that we have from like literally November all the way to like March. Some mm -hmm. other states will go to April. So, and then we go back in January for a big expo, expo. and then we get more information. So, yeah. uh, so we're and really that excited. Expo's because huge. Yes. I have been to that. Yeah. Place. Yeah. When, when we started the Birding Festival, uh, we didn't have a place to go, and everybody was going, What? Yeah. So, I asked my husband, Can we use your ranch, please? <laughs> <laughs> and that's when we started. Yeah. Really? And yeah. I mean, just one year, and that's yep. all it took. That's all it took. Boom, it took off. And that's that interesting. I mean, that meant there was a lot of interest. Yes. Yeah. And that's just what waiting for somebody to inspire. Yes. Them. And that's what makes our festival compared to the one RGB unique. It's mm -hmm. it goes to those private ranches that people don't have uh, access. access to. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's going to those ranches, and the ranches have now created blinds mm -hmm. for photography. Yes, it's wonderful. So it's crazy for hunting, it's like hunting, but for birding. So yes, it's like, and they're just like shooting the birds. They're not shooting the birds. <laughs> they're just taking a picture and. Uh, no, 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 yeah, but they do. It might be a very endangered species. But they they uh, set up feeding stations, water stations, uh, and uh, and they really go all out. And so that's what makes it very unique. Our festival. So that's why people come in, and, and I, I get you not. Some people are like have done it like six, seven years, and they come continue because every year they come, it's something different, something unique. <laughs> I know, my husband like, was driving down the road, he said, Yes, yeah, stop still pendejo, he's sentado. Wait, it's like a bird. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. This is that sound, yeah. but, but they, they, they come back yes, very yeah. excited. Yeah. Like we have house uh, some people for many years, like yeah. you said. That's yeah. And they come back and they start talking. So like, oh, I saw this species that yeah. I, you cannot find it anywhere, and I'm like, I don't know what they're doing. So, <laughs> <laughs> and there's like public, public trails like Paso yes. Indio, the, uh, the Palmas Trail, North Central Park, yes. that it's really good with you to even our, like, our, like our side wings. People right. go there for birding. Like, that's that's like, that's like, that's like, like yeah. Yeah. Well, I have to take yes. a group of uh, birds to the landfill. To the landfill. Oh and there, God, is, there is a particular bird yeah. Yeah. that only is found in the Laredo <laughs> landfill. Yeah. <laughs> But these people do. The birds were in a mess. Yeah. <laughs> and the birds don't need a crossing card. That's right. That's right. That's how we got the Amazon Kingfisher. So. Hey, uh, uh, Hoy. Yes, sir. Uh, it's a marketing team to host media personality in the rail. Oh, yeah, they. What, what media personality? Yeah, they got people as. Lucelena. No, that, that's. Lucelena. It's Luz, Luz Elena. She is a Mexican uh, media personality. Well, she has her own show oh, yeah. in Mexico. Yeah. She yes. She'll What's be her name? Luz Elena. 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 Yeah. I think it's Maria Luz, right? Maria Luz. No, I was saying Luz Elena. She has a great show. Yeah, she has a great show. She has a really great show. She has a huge fan base, and um, we're hosting her. We're bringing her here to Laredo, That's and um, great. she's going to to be able to you know have that direct connect about her experience here yeah. and uh, promote us to, to her audience. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's a little bit here and there. Yes. You know, yes. 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 So 
working with both agencies have done a wonderful job. And Congratulations. We, thank you. So we've seen it with the, our numbers and everything. We, we uh, And this year we're, mm -hmm. we're hoping to continue or, or taking it to the next level. So, yeah. Good job. But anytime you need a board member to go, <laughs> well, just give us a call. Maybe we have to. She was available. <laughs> Actually, those, those conferences in Vegas and all that. I tell you, I wish I could go with you, girlfriend, but no, I have to stay here. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Very good. But thank you so much. Very good report. Very good. Thank you so much. Very good. Yeah. A lot of information. Um, I was telling yeah. you, we have some excellent, excellent people that work here, um, and they do excellent work. I know because I've traveled to many agencies and you know, they don't know the border, they don't know their city enough, yeah. not like these people that were here. I mean, unbelievable. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Oh, Good job. Did somebody go to Albuquerque for the balloon festival? This year, because of budget, we already had closed, so we did send our stuff. We with sent Team Texas. Uh, with Team Texas, so it's a, it's a team booth, but next year we're going to be there. That's good. Yeah, because yeah. You know, last report, yeah. we said Balloon Festival in Albuquerque. So yes, yes. We're going to go. Yeah, we're going to go. But it rained there. Yeah. They, it started last week. Yeah. Two days the they two had days. it. Yeah. And then it rained like crazy. Yeah. And they postponed it. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. started that thing with 68 balloons. Yeah. 50 years ago. Yeah. And now? This year, 686 yeah. balloons. Yeah. That wonderful. Yeah, and also we sent our stuff, our visitor guides, uh, promo. And we were gonna go, but because uh, we were closing our budget, uh, we just didn't. So we're already, so, so nobody went. Nobody went. We just sent our it's stuff. So much yeah. fun. Yeah. I so, a balloon. so we're gonna next year. We're gonna definitely participate next year. We're our stuff, and then being there. Yeah. And we're gonna do other leisure shows as well to target more people to come in. Yes. Yeah. So. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Thank Thank this you. Good report. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the work. It's unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whoever watches this needs to know we have an excellent <coughs> crew working for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Good luck. An excellent crew working for you. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. We made you turns. <laughs> Our next meeting. Our next meeting date is for November the third, mm -hmm. two thousand and twenty-two. And do we have any other discussions or announcements to bring to our meeting today? Yeah, I just want to share an idea that I want to pass along to the CBD. Maybe they can, I'm sure it's too late this year, but maybe for next year, or pass it on to a club. Uh, I have a new plant at my store, and she gave me about a lot of stuff to decorate a Christmas tree. She should make a Mexican tree. Mm -hmm. And she was telling me that where she's from, they have this big festival that brings in all these tourists. <coughs> and I'm sure it's something like a center of arts or something where they pay a fee and they bring their own tree and decorate it. And have a festival around it. Oh, how and nice. then, then, the, then the trees are, are I guess, judged for yeah. second, third. And everybody, they give a gratuity, you know, like six to eight feet, and they give a little space in your sockets, and you come and decorate, and you pick your theme nautical, Mexican yeah, tree, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, traditional, yeah, yeah. whales, whatever. And then it brings in all these tourists, because people from everywhere, which is even people from California, from Florida, just oh, because, wow. because it's, it's so big. Yeah. Do you have it's, to take your own tree? Or do they give you a tree already? No, I think you bring your own tree. Okay. Uh, I guess keep the cost Can it have, have yeah. to be natural? Or I know, you know, anything you want. I'm oh. sure there's a, there's a list of things you have to yeah. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. can you send us the information? Where is that? Yeah, I didn't get it. She was, she was telling me so much stuff. <laughs> 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 it was like, it was saying stuff. <laughs> 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 she was talking about she bought the she was like a traditional Mexican tree. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, and I thought she was going to pass it on to the yeah. CBD. I mean, yeah. 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 I added a couple of extra items in her purse while she was talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah. Pass it on to a company. Once yeah. again, you can sponsor it. Yeah. Or, yeah, but if it brings in tourists. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. And for Christmas. We'll probably Google it and see. Yeah. Until series. It's probably like something that's going to start working on now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, for next year. year. Yeah, so that's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. She's been yeah. with the 50 trees, now it's like 200 trees. Wow. Oh, wow. And, they, and, they're and they're people love to show up their decorations off. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, how many people do you want to go? What city is that? Like a Christmas dinner. Everybody's going to see it. Everybody's going to so once I finished, he was sending a lot too, so he was. <laughs> 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 he's like, 
This tenure, this year as chamber chair, I'm going to start a podcast, and uh, basically it's promoting small business. Oh, wonderful! Just so small business. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole idea to start it. And my focus first is going to be on downtown. Great. So I was trying to put something together and start it. I'm trying to launch this before the holidays, especially go the retail route first because I think that's kind of important. Yeah. So. Um, anything that you all might have I'm, I'm trying to stick with chamber members first because I think sure. that you know they're loyal and they've been around especially sure. those that have been with us for a long time because there's some of them that I found out have been there with 20 years 25 years and you know some of the newbies unfortunately you know because of circumstances and COVID and everything else they started and they, they fall off the, yeah. you know, the track but um, the idea is to give something back to them I mean, I think they've been. That's great. Been yeah, good. that's awesome. So good idea. Uh, I'm hoping that I'm hoping to push that, and and at some point, I can I tell them about your deal. Mm -hmm. Oh, you told you? No, 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 no. Okay, uh, I I have uh, several appointments that I'm uh, uh, given as a chair, and I asked uh, Joel to participate as a as a board member this year, kind of a liaison for the CBD, so he accepted and I think he got approved. That's wonderful. That's very, very good. working together, and I think exactly. there were some sick or missing, you exactly. know, I think it'd be Exactly. Just reach out, you know, to different organizations. Mm -hmm. And that's what I that's what I was hoping to do because I, I reached out to Laredo Job Corps because they're very I didn't realize how much they're doing. Talk about a oh, gold yes. mine. Yes. yes. It's amazing. But Dave has gone through his uh, some challenges and so he, therefore we're gonna work with him. And then the other people that I've got the small business center from TAMU, I included them as well and they're with their well, they're gonna be speaking with them and they're gonna be giving courses on how to maintain your business, how to keep your business going, how to market your business. Because a lot of these small businesses, that's just it. They have, they put their $5,000 and put it into a little business, but yeah, they think you're opening the door and that's it. Yeah. They'll come and that's not the way it no. works. Yeah. So just, you know, yeah. more to be continued, but I, I do hope to launch that in November, but I also want everyone's ideas. I mean, you all are seasoned. Um, <laughs> people <laughs> that's a nice way And they're, 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 they're very close to the yes. chamber, yeah. Yes. But like I said, I, I want to think outside the box and bring people that are not. 
Well, you know that mem uh, you're sending those emails about where to eat and things like that? Yeah. We're having a meeting tomorrow morning at that cafe you were oh, in with Bill right. Hunter. Yeah? Yes. That's it's good. So, it's, it's so pretty. You have, you it's have, very unique. Yes, and, it yes. and you have to promote it because yeah. there's 4,500 people coming downtown every but, day. But let's go back to the core of that organization and that, that business. They went through H-E-L-L -L to open because right. of all the rules, because of permits, all the things. And yeah. you know what? It's just stuff that's not documented right. properly. Mm -hmm. Had someone said, you're opening a business downtown, you need mm -hmm. to rebuild all this. Yeah. Yes. Because it's a different animal than opening up in North Korea. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So they didn't know. So a lot of it stalled and money sitting there. Yeah. Their money going down the drain, drain because yeah. they didn't have the proper sign. They mm -hmm. didn't have the right color. They didn't have, because they, they didn't have the parking permit that exactly. they needed. They couldn't open. I mean, Remember that thing? house that's next to the old Union National Bank yeah, yeah, in the corner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy, that guy has been trying to open for eight months, but he, you know, we went the Laredo Main Street group went to see how we could help him, and one of the things he didn't do from the very beginning was get a permit. I know he didn't know. I mean, you know. It's going to be a restaurant. a restaurant, and he already has the little kitchen right next to, um, it's the hotel, and then the parking lot, remember, the bagel shop, that's yeah. wonderful, yeah. and then the, the parking lot, and then right next to the parking lot, there's a little place where they sell enchiladas, callejeras, oh, the guy for, anyway, that's where Small he's business. cooking, mm -hmm. he's cooking and, and taking it over there, because they didn't approve the cooking over there yet. <laughs> wow. It's very it's hard. You know, the, you know, there's a lot of requirements. You know, yes. People, the, the regulations, by the way. Yeah. You know, people don't not aware. You know, and they spend the money and they just send the work and they move money. Yeah. You know and then and then, and then Tomas Isaguirre from from the hotel is also has the corner event, and it's a huge room about oh, yeah. twice the number yeah. of the, of this room and uh, for events. Yeah. And oh, you should see the way he's decorated the table and the whole place. Beautiful. But you know, people don't know about it, Daddy. I mean, you know, I mean, a lot of people just, I mean, you know, if you don't know about you it, you have to get in their face. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right there. yeah. Unfortunately. A, a quick reminder United Way has its uh, campaign going on $1.1 million. It helps 23 nonprofits here in Laredo. And I, I know their collections are down, et cetera, et cetera. And sometimes we retire people because we don't work at a company, we forget and we don't yes. go make the United Way. I give to them and the Women's City Club and Sisters. Yeah, yeah, you know, but, but there's always. I can't say no to her. That's good. They, they do I a tremendous job. Yeah. 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 Now, I, may I interject something? Yes. Going back to the shell of the trolley, I'm, I'm patient. I, I enjoy this. <laughs> this is all of you. Uh, it would be too soon to start with the shell or whatever in November because that's when the Christmas season begins, right? So, and then a supplement in the newspaper where outlets do this, a list of their stores and what they sell with their specialty item or whatever they sell. The streets on some and not. I have a friend that has one that sells chimes, chimes, mm -hmm. chimes. Maybe a list so people say, well, I want some chimes or I want Mexican blouses. Where do I go? I know your place. You have a little everything. It's a wonderful yeah. store. Yeah. So that's what they need to also, or just a, 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 a piece of paper, and when they go to the outlet, they look. Okay, I want this one. This. Mm -hmm. I mean, that that's just a suggestion. Oh, that's very good idea. Yeah. And your Christmas tree competition. I saw one of my neighbors, EJ. His yeah. Christmas tree. He, bought, he I, I asked him, "Where'd you buy a Christmas tree?" It has deer rex in Pearsall. Have you ever seen one of those at Pearsall? Mm -hmm. If I, I have a picture of it, it's just deer rex. Oh yes, I'm doing it. Oh, yes. yes. And he said he Deer bought it. Rex, he, yeah. he bought that in Pearsall. So that would make news here. So here at news. Yeah, they yeah, the just put it there. Well, I, I call the rats. My boss gets out of this. Yeah, the rat. Yeah. The deer. There's actually a, a a news store that opened up here at the outlets that sells Christmas trees and all oh, decorations yeah. and yeah. Where here in the outlet? Yeah. yeah, where the uh, Mexican consul used to be. They moved to another uh, another building. And uh, so it's right here next to Old Navy, right in front of Old Navy. Yeah. 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 Ye
Well, thank you. Thank you very thank much for the information. Thank you. And sometimes what I hear, I sort of introduce it to my friend at the library committee. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank the you. Library. Um, the library. Do we have a motion? Is there anything else for anyone? I second. Yeah. Thank, okay. you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you.